This video contains graphic images that some may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Body World's Vital will make its first Canadian appearance when Science North opens the exhibit on April 25, 2012. The exhibit features real human bodies that were donated to be used in the Body Worlds project to help train and educate physicians and medical personnel. So how does plastination work? Usually the body has been dead for two to three days when it reaches the Institute for Plastination. First formalin is applied to stop decomposition. Then the further steps and type of preparation are carefully planned. Certain types of plastinates require different techniques and polymers. Plastination of an entire body takes several weeks. To properly expose the structures, great care is needed. They have to be perfect. After all, the finished specimens are primarily intended for demonstration and instruction in training medical students. After dissection, the plastination process begins. The bodies are first dehydrated in acetone. The specimens are then impregnated with silicone in a refrigerated vacuum chamber. During this process, a vacuum pump effervesces the acetone out of the body, creating a vacuum in the tissue, and that allows the plastic to be gradually sucked into even the most minute cells. After vacuum impregnation, the specimen has to be set in the desired pose. Once the pose is fixed, all the anatomical structures, each and every nerve and vessel, has to be set in the correct position. A complicated process involving ropes, wires, foam pads, and needles. Designing, in particular, is an intellectual and artistic achievement, needing a process of strategic planning and careful reviews during implementation to ensure the end result is aligned with the overall image. With new and complex specimens, it often takes weeks until the pose of the plastinate finally harmonizes with the anatomical dissection. Producing a whole body plastinate requires an average of 8 to 12 months. Work on the rearing horse with rider took over three years. In the final stage, the plastinate is cured using gas and heat in an airtight chamber. The structures are then all irreversibly solidified. For sheet plastination, the specimen is first fixed with the aid of a laser level. It is then frozen in acetone at minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit and foamed with polyurethane. Finally, special precision saw blade settings allow millimeter thin slices to be taken. After dehydration in acetone, the slices are rigidly plastinated in an epoxy resin solution. Curing is via ultraviolet light. Every person is unique. But our uniqueness is not only expressed in our visible outward appearance. No two bodies are exactly alike inside either. The position, size, form and attributes of the skeleton, musculature, nerves and organs determine the features of our inner face. This anatomical individuality could never be conveyed by models. Models are only an interpretation, and one model looks like any other. Conversely, the authenticity of these specimens fascinates viewers, while allowing them to experience humankind as a marvel of nature. Body Worlds is devoted to the individual interface of the human being.